Hey everybody, it's Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com. So I want to show you a new product. It's been really popular on the Vespa range. There's always been a Vespa original locking setup just like this. Uh, now we have the Shad version that's also available for the, the new BV400 and also the Piaggio Liberty 50 and the 150 model. And there's also a Shad version for the Primavera and Sprint and it's built better than that original Vespa one. So I pretty much highly recommend it. It's got a lot of versatility. Let me get right into it. I'll show you everything other than just locking the handlebars. You know, obviously having a nice theft deterrent like this, you know, keeps thieves away. They see this, like, I don't want to mess with this, this scooter. It's got extra locks, you know, it's locking the steering. Obviously you can even further lock the steering. Uh, one thing I'm not going to show today, but you could technically get really close to a post. You know, it's parked a scooter right up against a, like a street sign and you could typically weave this through if you really need to lock down your scooter. But the most important and best feature of this is the ability to lock a helmet and a jacket to the scooter. Say you don't have any space underneath the seat, the shove a jacket and certainly not a full size helmet. Uh, this lock setup will do that for you. So it comes with a high security key. There's a uh, pair of them. And when you're not using it, of course it stores right down here. And say you walk away from the scooter, we lock the steering. I uh, need to lock this full face helmet. Well, you just drop that right through the lock and maybe you need to lock a jacket. You know, I gotta leave the jacket. So typically you just go right through a sleeve and go either way. And, you know, it's just a good way to keep people from messing with your gear because no one's going to easily be able to cut this lock. And if you need to leave your gear outside, typically you probably put the gear outside, maybe you have the helmet on the outside, but just showing you an example of what you can do this with this. I mean, even, you could probably even put um, any other gear that you could put thread a lock through, it works just as well. So once you get your gear, tied up on there. Go ahead and put it in the unlock position and lock it. And you know, it's all stuck there with the scooter. So kind of shows you what you can do. But again, probably the most, the best use is the easily quickly lock a full face helmet to your scooter and further secure the scooter more than just the regular basic calm lock. And it stays with the scooter and it's not occupying space from underneath the seat or in your top box. So if you're looking for the lock setup for Primavera, just search the Scooter West web store for PR-SH-Lock. If you're looking for the version that fits the Liberty scooter, uh, pretty much a 2015 later Liberty 50 or 150, it would be LT-SH-Lock. And the one that fits the almighty BV400, search for BV400-SH-Lock. And Chad may come out with new versions for other Piaggio and Vespa scooters as well. Um, I find the quality is very nice. Let's get right to it. I'll show you how to install it here. So you have two parts of the, the BV400-SH-Lock. Uh, this is the installation kit and includes a pretty good, well-written set of instructions. And it's pretty much the same, very similar steps, whether you're installing this on the, the Liberty or the Primavera, the Vespa Primavera Sprint, all pretty much the same kind of setup. And in the past, you've probably seen the video possibly of the original Vespa one. That's what this is patterned after, but I can attest the quality of this is much, much better. So you want to unbox everything, not much to it. Uh, the Primavera one comes with a little bit more hardware, but you essentially have a pair of brackets for the left and the right side. So you got the two brackets, and then you essentially have this piece that replaces the bar end right here. That's like, essentially is the bar end. Uh, next part you have is the actual lock. So for the BV and the Liberty, it's a number two size lock. There's different lengths. So you got the whole lock itself. So you can replace half needed. If for some reason it's worn out or the lock's has issues. It's got nice high security keys here. Uh, we'll set that aside just for a moment because we don't need it right this moment. But the first step we're going to take is open up the seat. 
So electronically open this seat here. Get that seat right off. So T30 Torx driver. And these are a little heavy, so you kind of hold the seat, support it while you're removing the two fasteners for the seat. And you can set those aside. So it's just the pair of fasteners right in front of where the battery is. So you have two parts of the bracket. Uh, you can accidentally mix them up, so just make sure you get the correct, correct sides. Um, the included paper instructions kind of outline those sides there. So go ahead and take the four Torx fasteners. T30 driver does the trick. So go ahead and take the bracket. Go ahead and sandwich that right between the seat hinge. Now I suggest getting all the screws started and just have them just started and that's all you need to do. Lift that side here. And there's a little bit of adjustment, so you can kind of get everything symmetrical and squared up. Yeah, I like to tighten the front two bolts there, so that seems pretty good. And you may need to make further adjustments once you get installed, because um, the seat doesn't close quite right. You might want to move them in or out. Go ahead and tighten all the screws, and we'll get the seat. Pretty much just reinstall the seat, and you're done for this section. And sometimes you want to leave even these loose. Make sure you have any small adjustments so the, the seat latch kind of catches the center of the striker, make the seat close a lot nicer. So sometimes you got to make small adjustments to the final tightening of these two bolts. Now we'll move on to the bar end, and specifically the left bar end. You got the same thing, a T30 Torx. Go ahead and remove that center fastener there. And the, this is actually staying in place because there's a little bit of adhesive on the, from the grip glue on the bar end. So that's fine, it could stay in place. And you have a longer screw and this new little bar end extension. And specifically, that's a five millimeter Allen, but the nice thing about a T30 Torx is pretty much the same thing. So you can just use that, just as a convenient tool to use. And we'll go ahead and tighten that. Um, it's one thing you wanna make sure you don't over tighten it. I tend to wanna test fit everything. So make sure it all works. And yeah, we're fine right there. And of course, when it's locked, you know, you're, you're trapping the screw so no one can like remove the screw. So the next step, there's a circlip inside this little ring right here. And on that little tip right there, you go ahead and push that on and it snaps in place. At this point, you could put it in a stationary position just like that. And it folds up when you want to check, you know, access your gas, so no problems there. See, it's right out of the way. Um, if you want it kind of a little lower, you could tuck it right there, no problems. And then even opening the seat, it'll stay out of the way. So with the Liberty, don't need to remove the seat, but you do remove the screw on the bucket here. And you drop this right in place and includes a new screw that's a little longer with a washer and just go ahead and install both the left and right side. So on the BV400 and even the Primavera is pretty simple to install this little bar end piece because they already have threads in the end of the handlebar. On the Liberty, it's probably a little bit more difficult. You're gonna end up putting this on the end. Um, you could take a knife and go ahead and cut a nice round hole, fit this in there. And as you can see, they have several steps to drill and tap this. So you're gonna need to get a eight millimeter tap. 
and probably some cutting oil and you'll need a five millimeter and a seven millimeter drill bit. And you could uh, pretty much use, for five millimeter, you could use a 316 drill bit if you're here in North America and the seven millimeter, you could probably get away with a 930 seconds drill bit. All right, well, thanks for watching. I think it's a pretty inexpensive quality product that's specific for particular model Vespa and Piaggio scooters. Um, has a lot of utility more than just uh, theft insurance and securing your scooter, you know. Keep your extra helmet on there. Works a lot better than the pegs that are underneath the seat for trapping your helmet. So you can find these products on the Scooter West web store. Just search Shadlock or any of those part numbers I read off that are particular that fit the particular model of scooter you have. Until next time, Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com here in San Diego, California. Thanks for watching.